right now, standing in the middle of the vortex of bats, we're seeing millions of bats swarming around us as they exit the cave. We are at Bat Conservation International's Bracken Cave here in uh, San Antonio, Texas. Bracken Cave is the largest colony of bats in the world. I'm Fran Hutchins, I'm Bracken Cave Preserve Director. Well, standing at the mouth of the cave, first you have the heat from the cave. The cave is 102 to 104 degrees on the inside. It's like a giant incubator. As the bats start coming out into the sinkhole, you start hearing the, the fluttering of all their wing beats. It gets louder and louder and louder. It's almost like rain on a hot tin roof. This gets so loud. Well, we're seeing millions of bats. So the colony size is somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 to 20 million Mexican free tail bats. So over a period of a few hours, all of those bats are going to be pouring out of the cave so they can go out to forage for food tonight. You're just basically seeing that continuous stream of bats as they leave the cave. The FLIR camera, we're looking at the thermal signature of the surrounding rock. So when we look into the back of the cave, we can see some little white and some yellow, and that's 102 to 104 degrees. We get closer to the mouth of the cave, and it's in the 90s. So it allows us to be able to see temperature difference between the, the rock surfaces and the bats so that you can see the bats swirling in front of that because they're cooler. Their body temperature is around 98 degrees, so they're cooler than the, the, the rock. And it's so hot in the cave because of all the bats. You have you know, 20 million bats that are at 98 some degree body temperature plus over 75 feet of guano that's accumulating and it's decomposing and generating a lot of heat. The FLIR cameras allow us to see those di different heat signatures. We're standing up on top of the rim of the sinkhole, looking down into the sinkhole that's about 100 feet below us. What we're seeing is the vortex of bats as they spiral up to get treetop level so they can get away from the cave. Once they get up to treetop level, now we're seeing them just basically river of bats over our head as they fly away from us. The stream that you see as they fly away is basically safety in numbers because we have hawks uh, and peregrine falcons coming in to catch bats for dinner. So that they, it's like schooling fish, so that river of bats is staying tightly together so there's protection from flying predators or raptors that are after them. Thank you. 